Hello, today we'll learn about some new features in HCP Packer, which help you understand the relationships between golden machine images. A common approach for image management is to build a common base image for a given operating system, which contains all your organization's standard configurations like security, compliance policies, common tools and agents for management and monitoring, and then more specific images are built from that base image to meet particular application or team needs. But tracking the relationships between these parent and child images can be difficult, often involves a manual process, some spreadsheets probably, uh, which is why we've added ancestry tracking to HCP Packer. Now, HCP Packer is part of the HashiCorp Cloud Platform and it provides a fully managed metadata registry for all of your Packer images across all of your cloud environments. This makes it really easy to track your golden images. It also makes it easier for infrastructure and application teams to discover and use the correct images in their deployments. Now with ancestry tracking, the parent-child relationships between your images is captured and displayed in the registry. We also keep track of the status of these images, so when a new base image is created and promoted to a channel, the downstream builds will indicate that they're out of date. So here, I have an Ubuntu base image. And in the details here, I can see that we have three child images based off of this base image, and that one of them is out of date and should be rebuilt. So let's see how this works. Here's the Packer code for that base image. Note that for both the Amazon and Azure builds, I'm referencing a source image uh, that comes from the upstream cloud provider as our starting point. So here for the Amazon, uh, build, I'm referencing the Amazon AMI data source to find and filter out for that upstream Ubuntu focal image. And down here on the Azure build, I'm referencing the image by publisher, offer, and SKU. Switching over to a child image, now that we have our base image defined and published to the HCP Packer registry, I can actually use the HCP Packer data sources to reference and find that base image to use for my child image. And here I'm querying out the particular iteration associated with that image bucket and channel. And that's all the information I need to find the correct image along with the cloud provider and the region that I'm operating in. And so we'll go ahead and grab that individual image for both AWS and Azure. And down in our source blocks, simply reference the ID from those data sources to find our base image. Down in the build block is where we have our HCP Packer registry block. And this is what tells Packer to populate the metadata about this build into our HCP Packer registry. And this is how we get information like a name, description, these custom metadata labels, as well as all the underlying cloud information about this build into the registry. And finally, we have our provisioner blocks, which is where we customize this child image on top of the base image. So let's go ahead and build this child image. Once our build's finished, we can go back over to HCP Packer and give it a refresh. We can see now that all of our child images are up to date. Now that we have this ancestry relationship information, another new feature we can take advantage of is called inherited revocation. Now let's suppose our security team has identified a vulnerability or maybe our ops team found a misconfiguration in that uh, version of the base image that was used to build all these child images. Uh, we need to go ahead and revoke that base image, but we wanna make sure all the child images that were built from it are also revoked. Now that we have this ancestry tracking linking together these versions, we can go ahead and do that and automate that process. So to start, I'm going to come over here into the channels of my base image, and we've built a new version of it to fix these issues. So I'll go ahead and change the iteration assigned to my staging and development channels to version 10. So we can use that new version going forward. And now what I'm gonna do is come over here and revoke version nine. 
We'll go ahead and revoke that immediately. We'll give a reason to let everyone know why. And we have this new option now to revoke all of the descendants of this iteration. So we can still you know, go forward and, and only revoke this particular iteration, uh, but this new option here to revoke all descendants is what will actually go through and look for the child images that were linked to this particular iteration of the base image and also revoke them. So now that we've done that, we see version nine of the base image is revoked. We see here that all of our child images are now showing as out of date because we updated the development and staging channels of the base image. And if we follow through here to the linked iteration, we see that this linked iteration of the Nginx image is also revoked. And we get a message here about why it was revoked because the ancestor was revoked along with the message we put in. So to wrap up, we've seen how the new ancestry tracking features of HCP Packer allow you to track the parent-child relationships of your machine images and how you can use the inherited revocation feature to make sure all descendants of a revoked base image are also revoked. To find out more about HCP Packer, check out our documentation and tutorials at developer.hashicorp.com and head on over to cloud.hashicorp.com to get started. Thanks for watching.